was diagnosed with lupus, depression, and anxiety. She had a mental breakdown. But what good is having a song if I was too scared to sing it? When I first got out, I didn't know how I'd cope with my diagnosis. What if the next time I didn't come back? Fame and fortune come with serious baggage for some. Illnesses and other personal troubles can be too much to handle on your own, but things get even more challenging when your whole life is deeply publicized. I was diagnosed at 13, type 1 diabetes. That point was an interesting journey for not only me, but my whole family, and I wanted to, to make it a priority to speak and advocate for this disease. Despite their on-screen smiles, celebrities often face challenges beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. From health struggles to personal setbacks, celebs, like pretty much anyone, face trials of their own. Join us as we uncover the stories of 15 actors currently battling the worst. Let's get started. Number 15. Seal Henry. Seal Henry, the acclaimed British singer and actor, has captivated audiences worldwide with his soulful voice and timeless hits, including the iconic Kiss from a Rose, which has sold over 20 million records. The song was also featured in Batman Forever, However, beyond his musical prowess, Seal is also known for his distinctive facial scars, which have become a hallmark of his appearance. You may think that these scars and his bald head resulted from a glamorous life of combat. Well, it is a fight that caused this, but not the literal kind. Instead, it is a consequence of his ongoing battle with discoid lupus erythematosus, an autoimmune condition. This condition, which Seal has grappled with since his early 20s, causes painful inflammation and scarring on the cheeks, ears, and scalp, leading to hair loss and visible marks on his skin. While discoid lupus erythematosus can be managed, it does carry significant risks, including the potential for aggressive skin cancer. Let's just hope it doesn't come down to that. The visible effects of the condition, coupled with the attention it attracts, have taken a toll on Seal's self-esteem and mental well-being. However, the artist has candidly opened up about his initial struggles with acceptance and self-consciousness in this regard. Struggles like this are much more common than what we assume, and those who live in the spotlight of stardom, glitz, and glamour are not immune to the troubles of life. Seal's story is heart-wrenching and emotive, much like being kissed by a rose on the grave. However, his story is one of many. Number 14. Michael J. Fox Best known for his iconic role as Marty McFly in the Back to the Future film series, Michael J. Fox was every 80s kid on-screen hero. And he is just as courageous in real life, too. He has been open about his arduous journey with Parkinson's disease. This battle has been ongoing since 1991, when he received the diagnosis at the young age of 29. Fox candidly discussed the challenges he faces, particularly the impact of the disease on his balance, which has resulted in a series of injuries. The toll of Parkinson's on Fox's body has been profound. He faced a shoulder replacement, broken elbow, hand, and face, as well as a severe infection that nearly cost him a finger and a fractured humerus. The neurological disorder manifests in stiffness, tremors, and coordination difficulties that worsen over time. However, Fox has bravely opened up about the mental and emotional toll of living with Parkinson's. Balancing the demands of the disease with personal losses and mental health challenges has been a formidable task. The loss of privacy and constant vigilance against accidents further complicates things. Amidst all this chaos, Fox finds solace in the unwavering support of his family. While he has had to come to terms with the progressive effects of Parkinson's on his body, he remains resolutely optimistic, maintaining hope for a brighter tomorrow. Over more than three decades, he has emerged as a beacon of hope, tirelessly raising funds and awareness through the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Through his advocacy efforts, he continues to chip away at the barriers to research and treatment, offering hope to the masses. Number 13. George Clooney What do Ocean's Eleven, Up in the Air, Michael Clayton, Gravity, The Descendants, and Batman and Robin have in common? Well, it's George Clooney and his magical performance. Behind all the glitz and glamour, the charismatic actor leads a life that belies the chronic pain he endures. Despite his marriage to the stunningly beautiful Amal Clooney, known for her remarkable achievements and substantial wealth, and his impressive real estate portfolio, Clooney's life has been marked by a series of unfortunate accidents and health challenges. In 2005, while filming Syriana, a stunt mishap led to Clooney falling from a chair, 
resulting in a severe head injury. The impact caused his spine to break and led to the leakage of cerebrospinal fluid from his nose, causing excruciating pain and leaving him bedridden. Despite undergoing spinal surgery, the pain persisted, a constant reminder of his traumatic ordeal. Clooney's misfortunes continued with motorcycle accidents in 2007 and 2018, resulting in broken ribs, flesh wounds, and a near miss with a car at 75 miles per hour. While miraculously escaping major injuries from the latter incident, Clooney continues to grapple with chronic pain ever since. Number 12. Bruce Willis You can't even think of Bruce Willis without picturing his portrayal of John McClane in Die Hard and its many sequels. However, the renowned action hero has encountered a formidable adversary in the form of frontotemporal dementia, as disclosed by his family in February 2023. Willis's journey had already been fraught with challenges since March 2022. At that time, his departure from acting was attributed to communication difficulties, which raised concerns about aphasia, a condition often associated with language impairments. His family emphasized the distinct impact of his illness on his behavior and skills. Given the relative scarcity of information about this specific type of dementia, Willis's family has been notably vocal about their experiences, seeking to raise awareness and understanding. Tallulah, one of Willis's daughters, shared insights into her father's condition during an appearance on the Drew Barrymore show, characterizing it as aggressive. Despite the challenges posed by his cognitive decline, she expressed a profound sense of love and connection when spending time with him, particularly through shared moments of music and affection. Emma, Willis's wife, reflected on the realities of caregiving, acknowledging the complexities of caring for a loved one whose grasp on reality may be diminishing. Nevertheless, she finds solace in simply being present with him, cherishing moments of lucidity and vitality amid the difficult times. The family's openness in sharing glimpses of their life together, from tender Thanksgiving gatherings to poignant reflections on social media, has provided a window into their collective resilience and unwavering love. Despite the challenges posed by Willis's condition, moments of joy and celebration punctuate their journey. Whether it's the heartwarming sight of Willis interacting with his grandchild or the shared laughter and love captured in birthday videos, these moments reflect the enduring power of familial connection in the face of adversity. Number 11. Sarah Hyland Known for her roles in various television series and as the recipient of multiple Screen Actors Guild Awards, Sarah Hyland is an everyday icon. However, her life off-screen has not been without troubles despite her success on the screen. The ever-charming and lively star who played Haley Dunphy on Modern Family was born with kidney dysplasia, a congenital condition leading to cyst-filled kidneys prone to failure. Highland underwent a kidney transplant in 2012, with her father as the donor. But things did not end here. Complications arose four years later, necessitating thrice-weekly dialysis until she received another kidney from her brother in 2017. However, the anti-rejection medications required post-transplant have posed additional challenges for Highland, making weight gain difficult and leaving her fatigued and irritable, impacting her memory and daily functioning. Beyond her kidney issues, Highland has also bravely confronted endometriosis and undergone numerous surgeries to manage her health conditions. She has been open about battling thoughts of suicide due to feeling like a burden to her family, despite her outward success. However, Highland continues to persevere, exemplifying resilience and courage in the face of adversity. Her journey serves as a reminder of the strength of the human spirit and the importance of resilience in overcoming life's challenges. Number 10. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen's rise to fame in the 1980s was meteoric, propelled by acclaimed roles in iconic films such as Platoon and Wall Street. His natural charisma and undeniable talent quickly solidified his status as one of Hollywood's most recognizable and beloved figures. Transitioning to television, Sheen achieved unparalleled success with the hit sitcom Two and a Half Men, where he portrayed the charming and hedonistic Charlie Harper. His portrayal resonated with audiences, earning him critical acclaim and making him one of the highest paid television actors of his time. However, behind Sheen's glittering career lay a dark and tumultuous personal life, 
marred by his notorious affinity for wild parties and substance abuse. His battles with drugs and alcohol were well documented, with numerous stints in rehab failing to curb his destructive behavior. Sheen's struggles with addiction reached a boiling point when he famously declared, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. This, of course, led to professional repercussions, including his highly publicized firing from two and a half men in 2011, amid a highly publicized feud with the show's creator, Chuck Lorre. Sheen also made the courageous decision to disclose his HIV-positive status, attributing his diagnosis in part to his reckless lifestyle fueled by substance abuse. The revelation sent shockwaves through Hollywood and further exacerbated the turmoil in Sheen's life. Despite the profound lows brought on by his addiction and health struggles, Sheen has now turned his life around for the better. He is now sober and continues to navigate life in the public eye. However, his journey is the perfect reminder of the devastating impact of drugs and the complexities of addiction, even amidst the allure of stardom. Number 9. Selena Gomez Celebrated for her multifaceted talents in music and acting, Selena Gomez has also become a prominent advocate for lupus awareness because of her own struggles and challenges with the autoimmune disorder. Lupus is a chronic condition characterized by the body's immune system attacking its tissues and organs. It wreaks havoc across various body systems, including the skin, joints, heart, kidneys, and lungs. The symptoms are diverse and debilitating, ranging from pain and fatigue to rashes, fevers, and mental health issues like depression. Gomez went through a kidney transplant and chemotherapy. Her story has inspired countless individuals facing similar health battles. However, the public scrutiny and unsolicited chatter about her body pushed her to address water weight fluctuations, a personal aspect of her lupus medication regimen that she felt compelled to explain. Due to the variable nature of the illness, treatment approaches must be tailored to each individual's specific subtype of the disease. Corticosteroids are frequently employed to rapidly curb inflammation, yet their long-term use carries a multitude of potential side effects, including weight fluctuations. Beyond weight changes, these medications can induce headaches, fatigue, mood swings, and more, further complicating the already challenging task of managing chronic illness. Selena Gomez's journey with lupus says more than enough about the resilience required to confront chronic illness and the importance of raising awareness and fostering understanding of these often misunderstood conditions. Her advocacy efforts have not only empowered individuals living with lupus, but also sparked crucial conversations surrounding healthcare access, treatment options, and the need for greater support for those navigating the complexities of autoimmune disease. Number 8. Nick Jonas Nick Jonas has been on a deeply personal journey with type 1 diabetes since his teenage years. He even teamed up with Dexcom for a groundbreaking Super Bowl ad centered on the Dexcom G7 Continuous Glucose Monitoring CGM system, a sleek device that tracks glucose levels in real time. Reflecting on his own diagnosis at the age of 13, Jonas recalls feeling isolated and uncertain about what the future holds. However, he offers hope and visibility to others facing similar challenges, emphasizing the importance of constant care in navigating the ups and downs of life with diabetes. Despite the inherent challenges, Jonas emphasizes that his journey with diabetes has taught him the importance of balance and maintaining his health for the sake of his family. While the road hasn't always been easy, he feels healthier than ever and remains focused on managing his condition with resilience and determination. Jonas is also celebrating exciting new developments in his career, including receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the upcoming release of a new Jonas Brothers album. These milestones mark the beginning of an exciting new chapter for Jonas and his bandmates, signaling their continued success and creative growth in the music industry. Number 7. Wendy Williams Prominent television personality and talk show host Wendy Williams made a significant revelation in 2018 about her ongoing battle with Graves' disease, a condition she had initially overlooked when it began to manifest. In a candid interview on Good Morning America, Williams opened up about the tendency of women to prioritize the needs of others over their own health, emphasizing the importance of self-care and putting oneself first. Upon learning about her diagnosis, Williams chose not to keep it private, but instead decided to speak out. She utilized her platform to shed light on the condition, 
ensuring that her struggle with it was not concealed from the public eye. The announcement came during an episode of her talk show in February 2018, where she candidly discussed how hyperthyroidism had caused noticeable changes in her eyes, a symptom commonly associated with Graves' disease. Acknowledging that neglecting her regular checkups had contributed to the severity of her condition, Williams emphasized the importance of prioritizing health and wellness. Both Graves' disease and hyperthyroidism had been affecting her for nearly two decades now. Ultimately, Williams decided to prioritize her well-being, temporarily stepping away from her show in 2022 to focus on her health. Following a two-month stint in rehab to address mental health concerns, she expressed gratitude to her fans for their unwavering support and is now looking ahead to future projects with renewed energy and optimism. Williams knows all too well the importance of self-care, resilience, and advocacy in navigating chronic health conditions. Number 6. Yolanda Hadid Yolanda Hadid, widely known for her appearance on the reality television series The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, bravely shared her challenging journey with neurological Lyme disease, shedding light on the difficulties she faced both on and off the show. She unveiled the immense toll that the chronic illness took on her physical and emotional well-being. During her first season on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Yolanda received the life-altering diagnosis of neurological Lyme disease. Each day, she grappled with the debilitating symptoms of the condition, hoping for improvement. However, Yolanda soon realized that her disease was a prolonged and arduous fight that persisted for over a decade. Reflecting on her time on the reality show, Yolanda acknowledged the additional challenges posed by her deteriorating health. Amidst her struggles, she faced hurtful accusations from some cast members, alleging that she was exaggerating or fabricating her illness. These unfounded claims not only took a toll on Yolanda, but also deeply affected her children, who also battled Lyme disease. The ordeal on reality TV, coupled with her ongoing health battle, forced Yolanda to step away from the realm of reality television. The drama and conflicts no longer resonated with her as she found herself too sensitive to navigate the volatile environment. Instead, Yolanda sought a quieter and more peaceful lifestyle, prioritizing her well-being and emotional health. Despite her resolve to move forward, Yolanda admitted that her journey with Lyme disease continued to present formidable challenges. In an interview with Vogue UK, she described the past decade as a living nightmare, marked by relentless symptoms such as fatigue, brain fog, memory loss, anxiety, and insomnia. The darkness of her struggle often left her feeling overwhelmed and depressed. Throughout her ordeal, Yolanda found solace and strength in her children. Their love and encouragement empowered her to persevere through the darkest moments and continue fighting against Lyme disease. Yolanda emphasized the importance of empathy and understanding, urging others not to judge based on appearances, but to recognize and empathize with the unseen battles that individuals may be facing. She viewed her tumultuous journey as a series of valuable lessons in disguise, highlighting the resilience and fortitude that emerged from adversity. Her story reminds one of the challenges posed by chronic illness and the transformative power of resilience and unwavering support. Number 5. Shannon Guess Richardson Shannon Guess Richardson, known best for her role on The Walking Dead, made headlines in 2013 for all the wrong reasons. This time, it was not an illness, but a personal struggle of another kind. Richardson pleaded guilty to charges of creating, producing, possessing, and distributing ricin, a deadly toxin, in letters. Richardson targeted high-profile individuals with ricin-loaded letters, her targets included then-President Barack Obama, New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and Michael Glaze, an advocate for gun control. She purchased the ingredients for the ricin on her husband's credit card and manufactured the poison in the home she shared with him and their four children, despite being pregnant at the time. So why did she do all of this? Was she struggling with some psychological issues? Well, no, not exactly. She was simply opposed to gun control, as evidenced by the content of the threatening letters she sent alongside the ricin. So it was kind of a self-inflicted wound. Plus, she attempted to frame her husband by planting evidence in his car and lunchbox, hoping to deflect suspicion from herself. However, her elaborate plan ultimately unraveled, and she was apprehended by the FBI in 2013. 
Richardson was subsequently sentenced to 18 years in federal prison, with no possibility of parole. She is currently incarcerated at a federal prison in Fort Worth, Texas, and is slated to be released in 2029. Despite her attempts to evade justice, Richardson's actions resulted in severe consequences, highlighting the gravity of her crimes and the need for vigilant law enforcement efforts to safeguard public safety. Number 4. Morgan Freeman In July 2023, Morgan Freeman encountered a health setback during the press tour for his new show, Special Ops Lioness. While the incident raised concerns, it turned out to be a relatively minor issue, albeit inconvenient. At 86 years old, the esteemed actor had to skip certain events due to a contagious infection. Despite this setback, Freeman swiftly resumed his professional obligations after a brief hiatus from public appearances. During the press tour, Freeman engaged with fellow cast members Zoe Saldana and Nicole Kidman, discussing various aspects of the show, including scene suggestions and character dynamics. However, a last-minute scheduling change, particularly regarding a sword fight scene, led Freeman to bow out of a planned appearance on a UK television show. Host Alex Jones graciously informed viewers of the unexpected alteration, attributing it to Freeman's health condition and the need to adjust travel plans accordingly. Freeman has also been battling fibromyalgia, a debilitating condition characterized by widespread musculoskeletal pain, fatigue, and other discomforts. This condition stemmed from a car accident in 2008, which inflicted significant nerve damage necessitating a four-hour surgical procedure to address. Since then, Freeman has managed his symptoms with a compression glove worn on his left arm. This allows him to continue pursuing his career despite the challenges posed by his health. Despite these obstacles, Freeman remains undeterred in his pursuit of excellence, exemplified by his commitment to projects like Special Ops Lioness. In this new venture, Freeman portrays Edwin Mullins, the U.S. Secretary of State, in a gripping narrative centered around a female Marine's mission to establish a rapport with the daughter of a suspected terrorist. Freeman's involvement in such projects underscores his enduring passion for storytelling and his resilience in the face of adversity. While Freeman's recent health issue briefly disrupted his schedule, it reflects his pragmatic approach to wellness and his dedication to his craft. His ability to navigate challenges with grace and determination is a testament to his enduring legacy in the entertainment industry. As Freeman continues to captivate audiences with his unparalleled talent, his unwavering commitment to his health and his craft serves as an inspiration to all. Number 3. Tom Hanks Tom Hanks, the legendary actor beloved for his iconic roles, including in the recent film Elvis, has been open about his ongoing battle with type 2 diabetes. This health challenge, he revealed, is due to a combination of genetic factors that run in his family and less-than-ideal dietary habits. Hanks received the diagnosis in 2013, initially being warned about pre-diabetes by his doctor. However, he did not pay much attention to the warning signs until type 2 diabetes became a reality. Confronted with the seriousness of the condition, Hanks realized that he needed to shed weight to effectively manage his diabetes. To achieve this, he made serious lifestyle changes over the years. Central to his strategy was regular exercise. Hanks committed to an hour of physical activity each day. Whether it was sweating it out on a treadmill, going for leisurely walks, or enjoying hikes with his furry companion, Exercise became his primary weapon in combating the disease. Hanks also made considerable adjustments to his dietary habits. He openly admitted to past dietary indiscretions, humorously describing himself as pulling buns off cheeseburgers. However, he has since adopted a more disciplined approach to eating, closely monitoring his meals to maintain better control over his condition. While he occasionally experiences setbacks and indulgences that lead to feelings of self-criticism, Hanks remains dedicated to his health journey. Despite the challenges posed by type 2 diabetes, Hanks has established a routine to keep himself on track. His daily regimen typically involves starting the day with coffee, followed by a workout session and a refreshing shower, helping him refocus and realign his efforts towards maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Despite his health struggles, Hanks is the perfect inspiration for others facing similar challenges, demonstrating resilience 
determination, and a commitment to prioritizing health and wellness. Number 2. Selma Blair Selma Blair, a prominent actress, has been incredibly transparent about her journey with multiple sclerosis, or MS, from the moment of diagnosis to her daily struggles and triumphs. In 2018, when she was 51 years old, Blair was diagnosed with MS, a chronic autoimmune disease that affects the central nervous system, disrupting communication between the brain and other parts of the body. Fast forward to 2021, Blair shared with her fans that she was in remission, with no new nerve lesions forming. However, despite this positive development, she continues to grapple with the persistent challenges of living with the disease. In interviews, she has spoken candidly about her ongoing battle with pain, highlighting how it remains a constant reality of her life. One particularly challenging symptom is dystonia, which causes muscle spasms, pretty much like a stutter or Tourette's syndrome. Blair's description of her experience with MS provides insight into the often invisible nature of chronic illness. While she may not exhibit visible signs of discomfort on her skin, she experiences a profound internal stiffness that doesn't improve even when subjected to conventional treatments such as Botox or massages. To address her condition, Blair underwent a hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, which is kind of like an immune system reset through chemotherapy after a bone marrow harvest. Despite this intensive treatment, her pain levels persist, although she has found relief from some previous ailments like trigeminal neuralgia, which is a severe facial pain. In her journey with MS, Blair has not only focused on her own well-being, but has also become a vocal advocate for greater accessibility and inclusivity in healthcare and fashion. Collaborating with Isaac Mizrahi, she launched an adaptive clothing line designed specifically for individuals facing challenges with mainstream garments due to dexterity issues. This line features innovative designs with easy-to-use magnetic closures, catering to the diverse needs of those with disabilities. Through her advocacy work and willingness to share her personal experiences, Blair has become a beacon of hope and inspiration for others navigating similar health challenges. By promoting greater understanding and support, she continues to make a meaningful impact in the lives of countless individuals affected by chronic illness. Number 1. Halle Berry Halle Berry is best known for her roles in films such as X-Men and Catwoman. She also made history by becoming the first African-American woman to win the Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in Monsters Ball. But more relevantly, she took proactive measures to protect herself against COVID-19, particularly due to her diabetes diagnosis, which she has had since her early 20s. People with any type of diabetes were considered at higher risk during the pandemic. Barry expressed her concerns about the virus, recognizing the risk of more severe outcomes if she were to contract it. She adopted a meticulous approach to quarantine with a designated zone in her house where all items from the outside world had to undergo a cooling off period before entering. This minimized any potential exposure to the virus. Barry's diabetes has also made her more susceptible to a bunch of other risks. For instance, during the filming of John Wick Chapter 3, she accidentally cracked three ribs only to realize that her diabetes had made her more prone to bone fractures. Despite the challenges posed by quarantine and her diabetes, Barry remained active and committed to her fitness regimen. She engaged in home workouts, incorporating squats using her six-year-old son for weight. Outdoor activities such as hikes, jogs, and walks also became essential components of her routine, offering not only physical exercise, but also mental rejuvenation during a challenging time. Barry's proactive approach to managing her health during the pandemic is the perfect image of resilience and determination when faced with troubling times. By prioritizing her well-being and embracing physical activity, she navigated the uncertainties of the pandemic with grace, setting an example for others facing similar health challenges. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't miss this video you see on your screen right now. It's truly unbelievable.